Hello friends, I'm Nayesh Sheikh from blogdo.com and in this video we'll see how to create the perfect social networking website using WordPress. In this website which we are going to create now, we can send and accept friend request, send private messages to our friends, chat with our friends, upload and change the profile picture and the cover image. We can also see the notifications, create groups and forums. We can also create some articles. This website also allows us to post images, videos and audios etc. And we can also like and comment on those images, videos and articles. And the list goes on and on. Basically you can do almost everything that you do on Facebook or Twitter. So let's see the demo website which we are going to create in this video. So this is the home page we have at the top, the top bar. At the left hand side on the top bar or at the top menu you will see this uh, social icons Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube and there is a very sweet animation on that. So you know we have focused on sweet and small things you know that really makes a, a lot of changes to our website. And at the right hand side we have this contact us page link. We have login and register link. Basically because we are logged out at present that's why we are seeing login and register. But when we are logged into this website these two links will disappear and will get a logout uh, link. So this is really amazing. You know this website is really amazing and it is really robust and functional. It understands that we are logged in so that's why we are getting these options. In fact there are many things that will change after we log in. Uh, at present we are logged out and we are seeing how we are first seeing how this website looks when we are logged out and after a few moments we'll see how this website looks when we are logged in and what are the different things that change. So let's see what we have over here. At the left hand side we have a logo. At the right hand side we have a menu. And we also have this hamburger icon. When you click on that you'll see this side menu over here. And here also we have login and register. But these things will change after we log into this website. Or after we register to this website. Here we get login but uh, as I said you earlier this will disappear and we'll get a sweet profile uh, picture over here whatever you uh, put your profile picture we'll get that over here and we'll get more options we'll see that later on. Here is this search box and this is really amazing because this is Ajax search. For example if you search for some member like Nayer Sheikh you'll see the members, the pages, the posts, uh, post and everything that has this Nayer name or whatever name you're searching for. So this is really really amazing. It is live search and it is really accurate. Then we have our breadcrumbs over here and at the right hand side we have this beautiful thing. Here you can put in your phone number, your email address and so on. And this is uh, the page, the home page the, or the activity page basically because you can set any page as the home page. You can set the register and login page as the home page but here I have set the activity page as the home page. So let's see the different animation as you can see when I scroll there is a very sweet animation okay and very light animation not really you know danger animation or something like that and here as you can see there is a, a video which I recently created membership website this is actually a YouTube video I have just put in the link and this link has converted into this uh, simple video and this happens if you are using uh, obviously you might be using Facebook and when you put uh, any link of any video for example YouTube video so this is what happens so here also we have seen that and we have embedded that then we have a sidebar at the top we have login with Facebook button. This is really amazing and very very useful because you know sometimes the user doesn't want to create or just fill in that register form. They just want to register with or login with Facebook or Twitter or something. So they prefer this button. So we have used this or or else they can log in if they have not yet logged in or they can click on this button register and register to this website. Then we have this search box again over here. We have recent post, recently active members. You will, you can you have three different options over here. At present it is recently active members. When you click on newest, so this is the recent members which have joined this website. And when you click on popular, these are the popular members on this particular website. We have also created a forum. We'll see these things later on after we log into this website. We'll also see who's online and obviously you can see only uh, your friends over here. Then at the bottom we have this beautiful chat box. When you click on this at present there is no user available over here. 
uh, let me tell you one thing guys uh, actually the first video which i created on my youtube channel was on this particular subject how to create a social networking website and i used the same theme clio theme which is really amazing theme and at that time there were many things that were missing for example this chat box was was missing uh, i think at uh, at that particular time uh, these functions and these options were not available and this chat box is really amazing really robust and it has really good functions for example when you use any uh, normal chat box there are many different plug uh, plugins for chats and you know messaging and so on but this one is really amazing and really useful when you use some ordinary plugin to chat with your friends then what happens is suppose there are 100 visitors on your website right now so you can chat with all the 100 visitors they'll show you all guest vis visitors and so on but here you cannot do so because you don't want anyone to come and spam and you know annoy the users or and or annoy, annoy the members which are there on our website we want only here to show the members which are friends for example i am friend with some person so only when that person is available online he will show rest if there are 10 persons online but they are not my friends so they won't show you so this is very very useful and obviously if you want everyone to chat then obviously you can also do so but that is not recommended okay so let's see what we have next we have this login and register let's click on register and see the registration form so this is the registration form again you can log in with facebook over here or you can sign up with facebook we have different options like username email address and so on date of birth then we can com uh, complete sign up and you can change all these things all these uh, uh, these options for example if you don't want this date of birth to be required uh, on the sign up or the registration form you can remove this i'll show you how to do that that's really easy and we can also change the privacy for example who can see your username so at present by default it is everyone you can change this who can see your date of birth by default it is everyone but you can all obviously change it you change it according to your privacy so this is really good then let's click on the login so as you can see when we click on that login uh, link uh, we get this pop-up here again we can log in with facebook or we can just fill in our username and password so this is basically how a website how our website looks to a guest who has not yet registered or log in to our website now let's log in and see how the website looks and what are the changes that take place so as you can see over here i have already put in my username and password now let me click on login okay so let's see what are the changes that have taken place now we can see this post section over here we can post something okay we can type in something and we can post that and we can also set the privacy who can see this my friends uh, logged in users public private and so on and where do you want to post this in uh, in your profile uh, on your profile or in any group or something you can also upload some media for example when you click on this you can upload image video and so on okay so we have already seen this uh, what these things are now let's see what are the changes that have taken place so as i said you earlier the login and register button are gone now we have this logout icon and let's click on this icon hamburger icon now we have a very beautiful sidebar over here we have our logo over here the profile picture we have notification messages activity profile messages friends and so on we can cut this thing and also as i said you we are getting this beautiful icon or logo over here and when we hover over this we get more options like logout live messages live notifications and so on so this is how uh, the changes take place and also those sidebar is gone you know you don't see that login with facebook because we are already logged in so that has uh, you know seen that we are already logged in and removed that button and also removed that login page and we are getting a logout option over here now let's see how a profile page looks like so, so let's click on over here okay so this is my profile page this is the cover image this is my profile picture this is my username and when i hover over this i can see i was active two minutes ago on different device i obviously this is the latest post which uh, this is the latest update you can see and here we have different option for example at present we are on activity then we can see mentions like we have in twitter 
whenever someone mentions us no one has mentioned me so i'm not getting any options we can see favorites we can see our friends over here so let's click on friends okay so all the activity uh, uh of my friends i can see over here i can see the activity which have recently taken place in any of the group which i am in now if i want to change uh, any setting in my profile i can click on this profile icon now here I can change my name, username and so on by clicking on this edit icon. I can also change my profile picture. Let's see how to do that. Okay, so as you can see when I click on that change profile picture, I get this tab. Now I can upload or I can take photo and upload that thing and I'll change my picture. I can also change my cover image by clicking on over here. I have six notifications. This number shows six. So let's click on notifications okay so it says one week ago one day ago nayashik commented on one of your updates one of your article was approved there is a now blah 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 so we have all these things over here okay now let's see messages i don't have any messages at present but if you have any messages you will see it over here you can search for messages you can compose a new message to any one of your friends Okay, you can just type in the username, for example, let me try Nayar Sheikh. Yeah, yeah, I can get, you know, whenever you type that name or something, you'll get tho those options. So I at present, I have only one friend. That's why I'm getting this. So you can type in and obviously subject and message and so on. Now let's click on friends. Okay, so as you can see, I have one friend. I can cancel friendship or in other words, I can unfriend him. I can private message him and so on. I have a group over here. I have created one group. This is men in black. Let's click. I can obviously leave this group or, you know, this is a public group. You can see over here. Let's click on this group. Let's see what we have over here. I think this is empty. We don't have anything. You can see the activity. Someone just, you know, posted something in the group and I have commented on that and so on. I can also post something in the group and this group also has a forum as you can see over here when you click on forum. So you can understand now and by now you might have uh, you know, uh, understand that this is really amazing very very professional website. We have groups we have forums and so on and so so and here I have created a topic WordPress topic and you know when uh, whenever someone clicks on this topic or clicks on this forum obviously. You can see uh, there is someone asking some question. I have answered this question and so on. Okay, I can invite something. First of all, I can see how many members are there over here. So we have two different members. I can invite someone, but I, I think I have, as I said you, I have only one friend. All your friends already belong to this group. So I cannot do that now. But if you want to invite someone, you can do so. You can see the media, you can manage the group. I'm getting this manage option because I'm the admin. I have created this group. Okay, so we have seen group. Now let's again come back to my profile picture and see what are different things that are left. Okay, so we have seen groups, forums, and let's see what are different. For example, here is the article, media, and settings. Let's click on articles. Okay, so I have created an article. There is no comment uh, till now. This is the category and so on. You can click on this, read the article and so on. You can like, comment on articles, on medias. So this is basically the website which we are going to create in this video. I hope you guys like the demo website and you guys are really excited uh, to create the website. If so, then stay tuned. To create any kind of website, whether it be an e-commerce website, a social networking website, a membership website, a simple blog or a business website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. A domain name is nothing but the URL or the domain name obviously of your website. For example, nayashake.com is a domain name, godaddy.com is a domain name, google.com is a domain name, youtube.com is a domain name and so on. And a hosting account is nothing but a web host or a computer or a hard drive which has all the data of your website and that computer is running 24 7 so that whenever someone visits your website you can provide or they can provide all the data to them for example we have this image over here we have our logo and all this css html php code 
okay so this uh, things are provided to uh, or these things are stored in some computer so whenever my user visits this website they can see the website okay so don't worry about that if you don't understand it it is not needed to understand that okay so to get that to get a domain name and a hosting account just open a new tab type in blogtocom slash tmd and obviously press enter when you do so you will be redirected to this particular page and there are many different companies out there from which you can purchase the domain name and hosting account so whenever you're choosing any of the company you have to be very careful you should do some research because there are your hosting account is very crucial and there are many things connected to it for example the site or the speed of your website depend, depends mainly on the hosting account the hosting which you're using the security of your website depends mainly on the hosting account the number of website which you can host on your account is also important the bandwidth the hard drive that which they are using and so on so i am selecting tmd and if you are if you're following my channel you know most of the time i select either tmd or host cater uh, i select tmd basically for websites like e-commerce website membership website when there is you know a lot of data going on and some really secure data for example someone doesn't want uh their uh, uh date of birth to be public so we are using the those kind of uh, or some sometimes when there is credit card details taken on your website so all those type kind of website require tmd according to me because of the features let's see what are the features which these guys offer first of all there are three different plans start uh, starter cloud business cloud and enterprise cloud and obviously we have different prices for these let's see the features the first two features are six cpu cores so six core cpu and six gb ddr4 ram so as i said you earlier that hosting account is nothing but a computer that is running that stores all your data so basically your computer has to be really strong really good computer so the computer which these guys are using is really awesome it has got six core cpu six gb of ddr ram so ddr4 ram so this is really amazing it also has an unlimited bandwidth which means you can transfer unlimited amount of data on your website there is no limit on that it also has ssd space so this is really amazing because ssd space are really amazing if you guys know most of you guys should know if you're following my channel if you don't know let me tell you this go on google and search for that for example let's go to google.com and search for ssd versus hdd web hosting and you will see this result you can you know three uh, this says three benefits of ssd web hosting and so on you can read any one of this article uh, i basically always click on images because reading i don't like reading very much so this is the image i always choose you can select any one of the image the uh, the information on all the images are almost same okay so here everywhere you will see the same uh, information or same data for example let's select this one this time e-commerce website page load time in seconds so when you're using ssd it low the page loads within a second half a second 0.5 second and your hdd and do a different uh, type of hard drive they take a lot of time so as as i said you earlier that the speed of the website depends mainly on the hosting account okay so the the ssd hosting is really useful to improve the speed of your website A average page, page load speed is also very good very very fast my sql transaction per second the database transaction per second is really awesome you know you can uh, there are, uh, it is around 20k so this is uh, awesome this thing has to be more because we need more data transaction per second you can see any one of the image they have the same results so basically it means that you have to select ssd or hdd and not only that it has unlimited ssd space because see there are many different companies not many but there are few companies that do provide ssd space but they provide a limited ssd space mainly 30 to 50 gb ssd space and the cost is almost the same or sometimes even higher than this company so you know here you have unlimited ssd space which is really amazing then the next option or the next feature is unlimited website hosted so here you can host unlimited website for example 
today i'm creating this website a social networking website and tomorrow i may need to create an e-commerce website or a blog or a business website so i don't have to purchase a different hosting account for that i can uh, you know host unlimited website on this particular domain or on this particular web host we also get a free domain for example nayashik.com is a free domain which i got when i signed up with tmd hosting we get premium support free c panel a uh, really good web server wildcard ssl now let's see this thing this thing is also important for example let's come to the demo website which i have created and here you will see this a secure socket with your secure certificate this is the ssl certificate when you click on that you see it says secure connection your information for example password or credit card is private when it is set to this site Okay, so whenever you put some information, your information is saved. So we are getting this certificate, as I said you earlier, for e-commerce website or this kind of website where there is some crucial information, some private information. We have we have to use this kind of hosting account, and also it has wildcard SSL, which means you can use this SSL certificate on unlimited number of website, whichever website you host on this particular do on this particular web host. You can uh, have a SSL certificate for all of those websites, okay? And you get optimum cache, uh, uh, memory cache instance of 256 MB. Performance is three times better than these two plans. You also get a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can uh, select any one of these uh, plans. I would not recommend this starter cloud because you know here you have only one website hosted for example you can host only one website and tomorrow if you want to create another website you will again have to purchase a web host so that is not a good idea you can go with a business cloud or enterprise cloud i am using this enterprise cloud so i'll go with enterprise cloud so click on this get started button now here you have to select the domain name or choose the just type in the domain name which you want for free for example let me type in nayashik1 because i already own nayashik.com so i cannot put nayashik.com i have to put nayashik1.com i would recommend you to do some research on uh, how to select uh, your a perfect domain name and just don't select any random thing don't use numbers and hyphens and so on in your domain name there are many different tips available on google for free read some article do some research then select your domain name that is most recommended once you select your domain name, select any extension, you have .NET. If you're creating some organization or some charity organization or something, uh, you can select .org. If you're creating a local uh, uh, website, for example, uh, you're creating a website uh, which, which is related only to one particular country, then you can select the, uh, the extension for that country. For example, for India, we have .in. So you can select that, but most of the time, I think you should go with .com. .com is the best thing, most common thing. So I would uh, recommend you to go with .com extension. Now click on proceed. Now here you have to enter your contact information. For example, first name, last name, email address, phone number, and so on. Then your payment information. If you want to make payment through credit card, debit card, then you can select this and you can select the card type and so on expiry date and obviously you can select it accordingly if you want to make payment through paypal you can also select paypal okay you will be asked by paypal in, uh, for paypal information on the next page or you can just select anything which you uh, find uh, easier then we have this data center location by default for me singapore is selected and i would recommend you to select the one which says nearest to you so for me, Singapore says nearest to you. So I'm selecting Singapore. Now here we have period. By default, one month is selected. I would never recommend you to go with one month. That is a really pain. That's a real pain. You know, you have to renew your website every month. And you don't want to do that. So I would recommend you to go with a larger duration. If you cannot afford 24 or 36 months, then at least select this 12 months and you also get a great discount for example when you go with one month you're paying 20 dollars per month so you have first the problem is you have to pay every month the second problem is you have to pay a bigger amount for example here you have around 30 dollars 13 dollars and here you have uh, 20 dollars 
so there is a seven dollars a meal so you are spending around 80 90 dollars per uh, per year extra on your website so i don't recommend that select 12 months you can, if you want domain privacy you can select that if you don't want you can deselect that now the last and the most uh, important option is promo code i would recommend you to type in nayar 7 over there and a double y a r 7 numeric 7 and click on apply as you can see this says this promo code gives you 7% off this purchase and remember 7% is the highest discount that you'll get for ssd hosting okay now click on i agree to the tmd terms of services you can click on this terms and services to read those and click on checkout once you click on that checkout button you will receive an email from tmd hosting this would look something like this you have some important information over here like your ftp username password hosting package which is not really important but you have your server ip name servers and so on so you should save this information somewhere so that you know uh, this can help you if you're in any problem and i would recommend you to forward this mail to different email ids if you have multiple email address then you can forward this on them now what we have to do we have to install wordpress on our website okay so at the bottom you will see this control panel link open this link in a new tab basically a control panel link is nothing but your domain name slash cpanel for example this is nayashik.com slash cpanel and if you have your domain if for, for example if your domain name is xyz then it is xyz.com slash cpanel so you don't have to create a click on that link you can just put in the link which i'm saying and you'll it will redirect you over here now put in the username and password uh, from this email address and click on login now this is the cpanel most of the cpanel looks very similar what you have to do you have to go to bottom to the softaculous app installer section and the first one is wordpress and that is the one which you need click on wordpress now click on install now now from here you have to select https okay because we want that ssl certificate so for that you will have to select https now select your domain you buy uh, basically you will see only one domain if you're creating it for the first time i have created i don't know hundreds of website that's why i'm getting different option many options over here now in directory by default wp is already written delete that wp it should be blank so this uh, input should be blank you can put in your site name, your site description. For example, your site name could be blog dude. Your site description could be a description of your site, like uh, a website to help bloggers or to help someone who's creating website. So you, you know what I'm trying to say. It's site name, site description. Now, this is very important admin account. You have to change the username and password. If you keep it uh, uh, till to same admin and password, there are very, very high chances of your website getting hacked. But don't worry, I have a video for that also. If you watch a video on my channel, uh, I'll, I'll try to link that video in the video description below or at the right to right hand side at the top, you'll see a uh, I icon. You can click on that to see that video so in that video i have explained how you can secure your website from hackers and so on so you can watch that video after creating this website now put in any username i'm putting this thing and let's put my password let's hide it fine now put in the email address very important this step is also very important because we want to get all the because all the information regarding this website will be sent on this particular email address now at the bottom you will see this install click on install it is getting installed it will take few seconds don't worry as i said you it took few seconds now we get two different links uh, one is your website url the second one is your dashboard url click on the second link and let's cut all these things now we don't need them okay so this is your wordpress dashboard uh, you can also see this ssl certificate over here so this is really amazing now i'm getting this option wp super cache this is actually a very useful plugin but i don't need this now so i'll click on logout over here 
fine so let's go to plugins and let's delete everything which we don't need for example let's deactivate this wp super cache now select click on over here and it will select all the plugins from bulk action select delete click on apply okay because we don't need things which uh, which uh, no we we want to delete things which you don't need uh, this will you know clear some uh, data clear some space from our server and it will make our website a little bit faster now go to uh, not pages i'm sorry go to appearances click on appearances from this uh, left hand side okay as you can see over here we have three different uh, themes already installed we don't need this either so just click on delete we just have to delete everything which is unnecessary and now uh, we have only one theme over here now let's open our website and see how it looks like so uh, over here under my blog if you hover over this you'll get this option visit site open this in a new tab so this is how your website should look like at present and this is really bad we don't want a website like this we want something amazing like this one okay so let's start doing some changes over here so to do so we need a custom theme a premium theme the most sell theme where uh, the theme which have uh, sell most on theme for so to to get that theme open a new tab again and just type in blog com slash clio k l e o you'll see all those links which i'm talking about in this video in the video description below so you don't need to worry about that okay so this is the theme which i'm talking about this is clio pro community blah 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 and this is the number one selling body press theme for 2017 not only 2017 this is the number one selling theme body press theme of all time okay it has more than 15,000 almost 16,000 sales 5,000 comments the rating is also awesome 4.72 rating which is really amazing it has updated recently 11th uh, October 2017 and you can see the rating the review this is really the best theme you don't need to you know think much about it it is also trending it is always trending as you can see over here because you know it is uh, always people are watching this they are, they are purchasing this I'm getting 10% discount at present uh, so I'm getting this for 59 bucks I don't know what price you'll get it you'll get it around 59 60 or highest I think it is 70 bucks at present I'm getting 10% discount if you're also getting 10% discount just grab it now because you know you don't get these discounts uh, very often now just buy this theme I won't do that because I have already purchased this theme so once you purchase this theme you will see something like this let me show you now what you have to do you have to you don't have to uh, upload this zip file because it has many different things which we don't need actually so first let's unzip this let's ex extract all the files over here click on ok ok now you'll see this uh, unzip file open this ok you'll see many different options over here you have the licensing plugins uh, photoshop file and so on what you have to do you have to open this wordpress file and here you will see two uh, files over here clio and clio child now we have to upload the clio theme over here okay so click on add new theme and here at the top you will see upload theme click on upload theme now choose file and choose the file which i am which i just showed you under clio okay under wordpress this is the file clio open this click on install now okay so this uh, file is getting installed okay so by the time the theme is getting installed you can do few things you can click on that like button uh, click on that subscribe button uh, so that will take around one two seconds of your life so please do so i will be really happy if you do so and if you have any doubt if you want to ask me anything regarding wordpress or anything you can post a comment in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to help you and always remember to check the description box because you'll get really amazing things over there the latest discounts and so on for example if there is any discount i always put that in the description uh, video description if there is any changes in some coupons or if there is any important link for example uh, some tips for your domain name or something then i'll put all those things uh, in the video description below so you should check that out that will always help you 
okay so 80 percent upload more 20 percent is left let's wait okay so we are getting an error it says are you sure you want to do so okay so if you're getting that error or different kind of error like uh, upload size limit and so on that is because the default limit uh, to upload a file size is only 2 MB uh, let me show you if you hover this media and click on add new you'll see over here the maximum upload limit uh, for file size is only 2 MB so we need to increase that so open filezilla if you don't know how to use filezilla there are many free videos on youtube you can watch any of uh, any one of those and that will really help you so let's open my ftp account it's really easy don't worry about that now you have to search for your folder so i am using social.nayashik.com so i'll search for social.nayashik.com which is here now here you have this file dot ht access you have to you know drag this file on your desktop so here if you see my desktop is selected so i have dragged that file on my desktop transfer is finished now go to your dashboard uh, to your desktop i'm sorry and open this file okay you can open this file uh, in anything you can open this file uh, uh, through sublime text through atom or through uh note plus plus uh, notepad plus there are many different uh free softwares to open this file you can in fact open this by notepad i guess okay open with if you don't have any of this uh, uh softwares uh then you can click on more app and you can just open it with notepad it would look exactly like this okay let me show you now here you have to put in something so you don't have to worry about that just i will give this file in the video description below just go and download this file and here you will see this codes this four file lines code just copy this code and paste in this uh this particular file i'm pasting it over here because i see this gap i have pasted now click uh, just press ctrl s to save the file now cut this thing again go to filezilla now refresh this portion now again drag the HD access file and drop it over here. It will ask you to overwrite. So select overwrite and click on OK. Fine. Cut this thing. Let's come back to our website. Now let's refresh this page. Okay. Now as you can see it says the maximum upload size is 64 MB. So the problem is solved. Now again go to appearances and click on themes. Click on add new theme, upload theme, choose file and choose this clio.zip file, open, install and I'll pause this video till this uh, file gets installed. Okay, so our theme file has successfully installed uh, now we have to activate this file. So just click on this activate link. Now it will ask you to begin install plugins that this theme recommends. So click on this which says begin installing plugins. So there are many many different plugins uh, which are available for free. These are all most of them are premium plugins. For example, Revolution Slider, Visual Composer, K Element, uh, Essential Grid, Go Pricing. Most of them are uh, premium and paid plugins but you're getting all this for free with this uh, theme so which is awesome but you do but we don't need all these uh, plugins we know need only few of them so let's select them we need k elements uh, we need uh, uh, this profile search buddy press profile search buddy press and uh, let's select this contact form 7 we don't need that but essential grid then we need clio monetizer then social articles and bb press rt media and let's see if we are missing anything no i think this is these are the only plugins which we require now from bulk action select install click on apply So all your plugins which you just selected are getting installed and activated. 
just wait for a few seconds and it will be all done i guess so six of the nine plugins are installed and activated successfully and as you can see it is loading which means it is installing and activating rest of the plugins okay so everything is installed and activated now go to your dashboard again okay so now again come back to your website refresh and let's see what are the changes that have taken place oh yes now if you see that uh, the website looks much similar now because we have installed the same theme now no, we have to make it exactly like this so first let's see what are the different pages which have already been installed or automatically been installed for example you have this activity page and member page first let's dismiss this notice so these two pages are automatically created because we are we have installed buddypress we don't need this sample page so just click on thrash fine now let's make this page the activity page as our home page so there are many different ways of doing so i'll show you the most common ways which you can apply on any theme any wordpress theme okay any wordpress website so go to settings and just click on settings okay if you if you have by mistakenly selected http over there while uh, getting the domain while getting the hosting you can type in so here okay then it will uh, give you this ssl certificate but if you're not using tmd hosting and if you're not using that uh, enterprise uh, cloud uh, storage uh, package then don't do this or else it will start giving you some errors okay so put https over here only if you know that you know you are applying for you have signed up with ss uh, with tmd uh, with the package which provides wildcard ssl okay now you have to go to reading under settings you will see this reading click on reading now here you have front page displays by default here it is your latest post now we have to click and select this a static page and the front page select activity and click on save changes okay now again click on this thing go to your website okay so now as you can see now it looks more similar to the demo website which we have created okay so it looks much better now now let's see what we have to do next now again come back to your dashboard and setting under settings you go click on general and here you will see membership and by default this is unticked tick mark this which says anyone can register and click on save changes so that if you don't do this then no one will be able to register to your website okay whenever they try to do so it will give them an error so this is uh, this small step is really important okay it is under settings general settings membership anyone can register now the most important plugin that makes your website a social networking website is buddypress so let's first do and see all the changes of buddypress so again under settings you will see this buddypress option click on buddypress and here are the different options for buddypress the first one is extended profile so whether you want to allow your users to customize the community which will for example to change their profile picture or to change their profile fields and so on okay so obviously you want to allow them then we have account settings whether you want to allow your users to modify their account and notification settings directly from within their profile so yes we do want to allow them then friend connection this is most important you have to tick mark this because we want to enable our users to interact with uh, to interact with other members to send them friend request and so on so we don't we do want to allow this the next option is private messaging i also want to enable this because i want my users so i want to give them the liberty to, so that they can private message with their friends or with any user they want activity stream global personal you know which we see over here this is the activity stream on our front page let's go to the main home page okay so this is the activity stream okay it's loading okay so who did what you know this person uploaded this video 
okay so this is the activity thing okay you will see all this thing who commented who uploaded this photo and so on and so we do want to allow that notification whether we want to you know notify members of relevant activity with toolbar bubble so you know you see this notification thing over here so this is related to this so obviously we want to enable that users group whether you want to allow users to create their groups yes we do want to do that now just make uh, this site tracking unchecked and rest everything will be checked over here click on save settings these settings were very very important guys okay so i would recommend you to watch the complete tutorial you know many times you obviously have the option to skip uh, if you see my description you will see the different timing for example if you want to see if you want to go back to the uh, option where i just installed wordpress you can click on that time and you'll go back there if you want to go forward and see the last part of the video you can do so but i would highly recommend you to watch the complete video so that you don't miss anything and you understand everything over here okay now click on pages fine so we have directory pages uh, associate a wordpress page with each buddy press component directory so for members page we have the members uh, uh, for members section we have the member page for activity stream we have activity for user groups we have groups you can view this page obviously for registration we have register for activate we have activate and so on so basically if you're following me you will have all the pages uh, already over here uh, the registration page activate page if you don't have this don't worry just hover pages click on add new for example if you don't have this register page then you can let me show you what you can do just create a new page give it a title register or anything it's not necessary to give it a title register for example instead of register let me give a title sign up so it's not necessary that you have to give register as the title you can give any title and just click on publish now again go back to that setting which was under settings i guess okay here it is settings and body press again go to pages and here if you don't see anything just select this and you have your sign up page you can sell, uh, select this page and you can also view this page so if you don't have this page all automatically created you can do it manually without any problem but i have it automatically created the register page so i'll select this one click on save settings now click on options whether you want to show the toolbar for logged out users for example this is the toolbar okay so we don't want to show this to logged out users let me open this website in an incognito window so let's open a new incognito window so that we are logged out over here and let's see how it looks on uh, to a new user okay okay so as you can see over here we are not logged in but still we are getting these options i don't want this thing i don't want this uh, ugly bar over here at least not for the uh, logged out users or not for the person who have not already registered to our website so i want to disable this so i'll I'll select this one. I'll I'll actually untick this, which says this show the show the toolbar for logged out users. So I don't want to show the toolbar for logged out users. Allow registered members to delete their own account. Yes, obviously it's all their choice. Profile setting, profile photo uploads. Allow registered members to upload avatars or to upload their profile picture. Obviously, allow users to upload their uh, cover image. Yes. Profile syncing, enable BuddyPress to WordPress profile syncing, yes. Group creation, enable group creation for all users, yes. Group photo uploads, yes. Okay, basically everything is yes over here. Allow activity stream commenting, yes. We want uh, the users or we want to allow users to comment on blogs and forum posts and so on. So click on save settings because everything here is fine. Now click on RT Media. This is again an external plugin, uh, a very good plugin which comes with this Clio theme. Now allow user to comment on uploaded media. Yes, we do want to allow users. For example, over here I am logged in. 
someone has uploaded this beautiful image so when i click on this as you can see someone has uh, uh, just commented wow it's beautiful and you can also mention somebody for example uh, go to your type a comment and just type in the username for example i'm typing real layer this thing comes so i'm actually my own uh, name is real layer username is real layer so you can select this thing and you can you know mention that person and you can comment so we do we do want to allow users to comment and like enable gallery media search so whenever someone searches or hear something do you want to also enable gallery search over there uh, maybe yes or no it's all up to you use light box to display media so this is light box if you see over here this animation this is the light box you know you can see in the same page okay it is not redirecting you to another page the image is not getting opened in different page it is opening in the same page which is really awesome so we do want to allow that so yes number of media per page 10 load more everything is fine oh, okay enable direct download yes okay uploading media directly as soon as it get no we don't want to enable this basically what it says is you know whenever someone uh, for example i'm uploading something i just select any image like uh, let's select this image again click on open and let's see what happens it is getting uploaded over here as you can see at the bottom okay so the image is uploaded but okay as you can see the image is uploaded and it is automatically posted i i wanted to add some text on that okay so i couldn't do that because this thing is uh, enabled so we want to make this thing off enable direct upload okay and click on save settings fine so this was or this were the display settings now let's see buddy press settings enable media in profile yes we want to enable media in profile for example let's see a profile let's select my profile okay here you will see media option for example let's click on this plus button and here you have media options so you can see the media which i have shared and even if i'm the admin or if i'm the user i can delete the media from my account so yes we do want to enable that if you don't want to enable this you can just select off enable media in group yes again allow upload from activity stream yes number of media items to show in an activity stream this is also important for example you know there are some crazy people I, I call them crazy people i'm sorry if you're one of them they upload 100 images at the same time you know and if you if you're on on facebook then you don't have to worry because they have customized it uh, uh, to a different way but it uh, earlier what used to happen was you know if you're uploading 100 images one by one images is getting uploaded and you're getting 100 pings yes notification this person has uploaded this that so we don't want to do that even if someone uploads 100 images we want to show only maybe four images uh, in the activity bar and when someone clicks on those for example here you have one uh, then we'll have one here and one at the bottom and again one at the bottom and when you click on that image and you can use the arrow keys for or you can just click on over here to see different images okay so you don't see 100 different uh, uh, images over here very important so two one whatever number you like you can select this enable media notification basically when someone uploads a media do you want to get a notification for that so maybe yes i don't know it's all up to you create activity for media likes so for example if you see over here if someone likes a media for example if i like this thing then do you want to create an activity for that for example here it says real nice uh, shake just uh, commented yes it is what it is okay so someone uploaded an image and said life is beautiful as i i said yes it is really why i don't know so do you want to enable activity for that when someone likes a media or something maybe yes i'm just doing all yes i think it should be no actually create activity for media comment this is the one which i'm talking about someone commented on a media and you're getting activity and this thing is get uh, you know converted into an activity i don't want this also 
enable media in comment yes you do want to enable this as i showed you earlier you can comment on a media like this so we do want to enable that and organize media into albums yes show album description yes we do want to show click on save settings i can just do yes no yes no but i don't want to do that i want you guys to understand why we are doing yes or why we are making this on and off so that you don't mess up uh, with this website i know i can just uh, say someone might think yeah he's just doing time pass he can just make on 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 off 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 on off but if i do so obviously i can do so but you won't understand why i'm making is uh, making this thing on or off okay so bear with me now types you don't have to do any settings over here media size again don't do any settings over here as well everything is fine or maybe you can do some settings so let's see what mm, i don't think so just don't leave this thing okay privacy and now this is very very important today privacy is the most important thing according to me make this thing yes on allow users to set privacy for their content obviously yes man we we do want to allow users to set their own privacy priority for example there are some people who are you know who are uh, who are okay with uh, you know anyone seeing their profile picture their comments and so on but there are someone who want only their friends to see their activities and i don't know maybe there is some person on this planet who doesn't want anyone to see what he's doing so he's doing something but he doesn't want anyone to see what he's doing so no oh no so select the default privacy by default i think it should be public and user can change it according to them click on save settings okay so we are seeing some really important and awesome things over here now if you want you can write type in some custom css okay so most of the thing most of the settings are done let's refresh okay so no changes have taken place but all the settings are saved now let's see some more settings okay so when you scroll down you'll see this theme options click on theme options okay so again over here we have many different settings uh, this is the general setting if you are still in the maintenance mode if you don't want uh, people to uh, come to your website and see this until and unless you complete the website then you can make this thing on and you can change this text like we are currently in maintenance mode please check back later and you can upload a logo for this and so on and so forth let's save changes and let's see this in a new incognito window let's refresh okay so maintenance we are currently in maintenance mode please check back later okay but we are not in maintenance mode actually we are but we don't want to show this now it's time to upload our logo so here at present by default it shows the title of your website i want a logo so i'll click on logo if you have anything in the media library you can select that and upload that but i don't have anything so i'll upload file select files and this is the logo no yeah i think this is the one select this one click on open yeah select okay now logo retina mobile logo mobile logo retina fav icon fav icon what is this fav icon if you see this over here if you follow my cursor this thing at the top is fav icon very very important according to me okay now here at the bottom you have this footer text now let's see our demo website here at the bottom you have this footer text copyright 2017 clio template I don't want this Clio template and so seventh queen. I want my name over there. Okay, so I'll just type in copyright current year instead of Clio template and all these things. I'll just delete this and I'll type in website made. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again by Nayar Sheikh. Fine, and I want to link my name to my YouTube channel okay so let's open my youtube channel it's youtube.com slash nayar shake and where is it con here it is and i'll link this thing over here click on apply and uh, keep footer on bottom uh, obviously it will be on bottom and rest everything is fine just save the settings okay now let's again see this uh, in a new tab let's refresh this 
okay so we have our website and here is the I don't know if you could see this uh, here is the footer I think you cannot see this because uh, okay fine let me make this smaller fine now I hope you guys can see this this is the footer and this has got a link as you can see when I have a near shake I'm getting this link youtube.com slash near shake so this is working fine okay so let's see what are the different changes now this was the general setting go to layout setting so this is by default wide layout if you want you can select boxed okay now let's save settings this is how it looks like we have selected box let's see what this box setting is so this is the box setting I don't see much change actually let's refresh again yeah this is the one yeah I don't see any change actually select wide and you can select the layout at present the right side uh, sidebar is selected and here we have right sidebar if you want this sidebar on the left hand side you can select this one okay this one if you don't want any sidebar you can select the first one but we want a sidebar you can change the size of the sidebar and so on breadcrumb so where do you want the page title so we have the page title over here this is the title and this is the breadcrumb setting a uh, bread breadcrumb section so yeah i want to my title on the breadcrumb section if you want the title on main section you will see this enable contact form and so on i don't want to enable contact form let me show you what that is when i scroll down you will see this contact form over here when we click on this uh, it will show it will uh, give a pop-up you can fill in your name email address so this is not a good idea for a social networking site you know we want a you know, chat option over here so we don't need this so I'll just disable that where is it gone here it is so I have disabled this contact form and rest enable go up button yes that is really important I'm not seeing that because at present the site is very small but when you scroll down a bit you'll see a button over here when you click on that you will go at the top very important that is now click on save changes let's come back to our website refresh and this should be gone okay as i said you guys that co this, that contact thing is gone now so this was layout setting now we have header options so this is the header at present the header which we have selected okay okay here is it here it is you can select different type of header there are many different type of header i would select this one because this is very sweet a small header it is not occupying a lot of space on our website this is small and sweet i really like this now header font you can change the font i don't want to mess with the font uh, but you can do so obviously top bar display top bar this is the top bar we don't have anything over here at present so that's why we are seeing a blank thing uh, once we add a top bar it would look something like this you know you have our logo is social icons we have this different icons over here so we do want uh, to display the top bar top bar darker background on okay now click on save changes now we have this title breadcrumb setting okay so show breadcrumb so whether you want to show this section the whole section over here okay so this is the section if you don't want to show this section you can just disable this and you won't need any setting but we want to show this section and we want to change these settings for example instead of feel free to call us uh, you can change the text if you want you know change the text from your feel free to call us or let's change call us today and I want to change this number where is that number gone here it is this is the number i'll put in my number not my number just some random number fine then we have email address so i want to put in my email address over here uh, mail at gmail.com this is not my email address but you have to put in your email address over here how your title uh, breadcrumb layout should look like i have selected this one you can select these two as well if you want some padding or some gap at top and bottom you can select that i don't want to do anything over here i just click on save changes come back to your website refresh and let's see let's see 
now as you can see it says call us today the number is changed the email address is changed okay again come back over here you have styling options okay go to header now if you want to change some colors over here you can do so for example let's select let's select which color let's select uh, maybe this one okay uh, any color let's select this one click on ok okay it has automatically reloaded let's see let's refresh this website now as you can see over here the color of your header has changed so you can select any color from here and you can select the text color the text color there's no text over here at present but you can select the text color the heading color the background color is this one this dark pink color you can change this from here border color if you see if you could see there is a very thin border over here you can change that as well highlight background color and so on here yeah, but i don't want this this is really looking ugly i want that simple thing uh, the simple white thing so what i what i'll do is i'll click on this reset section and click on open do click on open i don't don't click on this reset all that will reset all the settings which you have done and you will have to do everything again now let's refresh and this should be gone okay guys so that is gone but i just showed you so that you know if someone wants to change some color they can do so they don't want they don't have to do any css or so on they can easily do so so this was for header if you want to change the main uh, main color so this is the main section everything that comes over here below this breadcrumb section everything over here is the main section then we have site title okay so this is the site title section the site title breadcrumb section sidebar section footer socket section if you want to change some fonts you can select a random fonts for everything for example h1 tag h2 tag and so on everything over your body tag I don't recommend doing so but if you really know what font and what font size what line height you have to select what font weight you have to select then you can play around with this I don't recommend this for everyone uh, for someone who knows what font what font size and so on has to be has to be put over here then obviously they can go ahead but most of you guys I would recommend just leave this thing okay side menu we don't have a side menu here but we should we will obviously enable this just enable this thing side menu position here we have at the left hand side as you can see when i click on this icon i have this on the left hand side so obviously we want to enable this and we want this on our left hand side where it's gone here left hand side add add toggle button on your main menu as you can see we have this button on our main menu so yes we do want to add that enable side yes we saw that what that is if you want to add if you you can add some text as well this is for social icons this is a short code and it will put this social icon so here if you don't want to put those social icons you can delete this click on save changes come back over here refresh we cannot see that button the, that uh, hamburger or toggle button because we have not created any menu once we create a menu we, we will see that so just don't worry about that now let's see some more settings and uh, we have social share so uh, you know you see those options share with your friends so we want those options at the bottom only for post you know we don't want a, a share button over here we don't want to share this page why would you share this page so but when you're reading some post or something some article yes we do want those social shares on this post enable facebook sharing whatever you want to enable you can enable whatever you want to disable you can disable you also have whatsapp sharing which will obviously work only on mobile phones so everything over here is fine click on save site save changes okay now now we have seen body press settings or we haven't i think we haven't yes this is different body press settings so click on body press and this is just asking for layout and everything is fine over here you just have to select these things over here so i'll i'll actually come back to these settings later on uh, uh because i want to 
show you first what happens and why we are doing this setting so that you get a better idea if i just do some settings over here and that settings will take place over here and you won't know what was the thing that was before and why did we do this so i want to come back to this later on click on this social info now put in your or your links social links for example for twitter it is twitter.com slash real near and for facebook it is facebook.com slash near shake i guess i don't know yeah i think it is near shake or oh, no you can uh, i will put in my page link block dude so facebook.com slash block dude you can like my facebook uh, page for latest update and for many important things you can also follow me on twitter if you want obviously now very important my favorite youtube.com so i'll put in youtube.com slash near shake fine and instagram i don't want to uh, use these things i uh, know only kids use instagram click on save changes just kidding yeah okay okay fine all the changes important changes are done now let's come back to our website and now what we have to do uh, if you see uh, the website over here in the demo website we have let me show you the demo website actually it's clio.nashake.com so as you can see on your demo website we at the left hand side bar we have this login with facebook so first we'll have to integrate facebook with our website that sounds difficult and technical but don't worry i'm there with you everything will be fine and easy come back to this theme options click on facebook integration and just enable everything enable facebook login enable facebook avatar enable registration via facebook and uh, enable facebook comments no not exactly send email to user with username and now i don't know do this i want user to select their own username okay fine 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 no 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 i don't want this because uh, what this will do it will generate a custom password for uh, the user which is signing in or registering with the website i don't want to do that i want them to set uh, their own password here what happens uh, they will get a generated password they will have to put in that password they will have to confirm their account and then again they will have to change the password so a lot of work i don't like that now here redirect after facebook registration so after the person has registered uh, registered for your for your website where do you want to redirect them so you can uh, select custom link and you can put the link of your home page so you just click copy this link and put in over here okay and uh, okay rest everything is fine first let's click on save changes and let's see whether that button is showing there or not so this is the website let's refresh okay actually we have integrated but we haven't added the widget over here so let's do that okay so at the left hand side again you will see appearances how are appearances and you'll see these widgets open these widgets in a new tab because we need this page we have to put in the app id after that only that thing will work the facebook login will work now i want to delete everything from here i think we need the recent post we don't need this recent comments archives categories and meta we want to delete these things we want only important things now here we want to add buddy press login this is the one select main sidebar click on add widget make the drag this thing at the top or uh, you can have some title if you want like login or register fine click on save let's see how it looks let's refresh okay so we have our login with facebook but don't be happy guys let's click and see what happens okay it is not clickable because we have just added a button but we haven't integrated it yet 
so don't worry come back to your website and again come up, come over here here you have facebook page id and at the bottom you have this uh, link which says click here open this link in a new tab and that will open this developers.facebook.com slash apps now here we have to create a facebook app and that sounds technical again i'm saying but that is very very easy just don't worry it will take few minutes one or two minutes just click on add a new app i have already added i don't know hundreds of apps just click on add a new app and you can just display any name for example now your social site social i don't know okay fine contact email click on create app id and put in this ugly characters what is this what the heck is this man 8 s3 try another text okay this looks much easy cb6 m5 4p click on submit okay it worked and let's see now we want to uh, integrate facebook login so we'll select facebook login and click on setup okay so where do you want that do you want on an ios uh, uh, device on an android app website or other so we want that on our website so we'll select web www site url put in the url of your website this is the one put in over here click on save click on continue next to next to next next every okay fine everything is fine over here now click on dashboard from this left hand side okay before that i think you have to click on settings so click on settings yeah we have to click on settings first now here it will ask you for app domains again paste in the same domain name and make sure your email address is over here select a category i'll select communication for this click on save uh, save changes now go to dashboard and here you will see this small question mark if you could see this click on this and make this thing yes click on confirm okay again go to dashboard now you should see this green uh, dot over here and if you hover this it says live and available to all users which is awesome now just copy this app id and uh, paste it over here under settings and facebook integration paste this id over here click on save changes now go to that website refresh this site now hopefully this should work now click on this button which says login with facebook and as you can see this is working which is awesome now user can log in or register with facebook which is really awesome so this is working and we also have this username and password register option we have this search bar okay and we here we also we have the search bar then we have the recent post here we also here also we have the recent post now after that we have we want recently active members forums and who's online so let's do these things now go to widgets and search for recently active members body press members body press recently active members select this select main sidebar click on add widget number of members to show i, I want to show only five members click on save and then we had i guess forums so it will be under bb press here it is bb press groups uh, this is body press groups okay so i want groups actually so i'll select body press groups click on add widget number of groups to show maybe only three groups link widget title uh, widget title to group directory yes a default group to show only active group or popular group newest group i will set popular group and click on save and then what we have next let's see okay we have who's online let's select that 
it will be under buddy press buddy press who's online okay fine number of maybe five num maximum members to show five you can select more options from here you can add more widgets so i want only these many widgets now like let me again go back to this website and refresh and let's see whether the thing have done or not so we have this 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 and then we have groups who's online obviously there are no groups at present so we don't see anything recently active only this poor guy is there which is me there's no one online so it is not showing anything come back to your website let's see what we have to do next now let's create menus because if you see over here uh, we don't have anything over here we want the menu so let's create menus to do so you will have to go under appearances and click on menus let's cut this thing let's cut this one we don't need all these things and make sure you subscribe to my channel click on this subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos fine now let's create a new menu just click on this link which says create a new menu you can name it anything i will name it main menu like i always do you can name it primary menu anything you want you can name it header menu this is just for your sake you you have to remember you should know because if you're creating 100 different menus you should know what which menu this is so i'm naming it main menu because it will be over here so this is the main menu click on create menu and make sure you select this primary menu from here only then it will show up over here fine and we want more options over here so you, you you don't see this but if you go at the top you will see the screen options click on that we want clio and buddy press options as well and we don't need anything else fine now let's first see the menus over here here we have groups forums articles home members and this thing so let's do that first go to buddy press we have groups forums and members also okay okay let's add these many first so we have groups forums and you can add more like profile activity and so on then go to clio and add my uh, account live messages live notification everything over here i'll explain you why this is and bring this my message at, at the top and be below this group and forums uh, sorry my account and under my account we need login no not under my account i'm sorry okay do one thing bring login and log out at over my account and also register okay and under my account we want live notifications so just drag this thing little bit at the right hand side we also want live messages and we want the logout thing uh, also under my account okay if, because if you see over here this is the my account then if you have logout live messages live notifications so we have my account live notification live messages logout we have this login register but we cannot see this because we are logged in so this is very powerful thing it recognizes that you are logged in so it will hide that login and register page so which is very important and really awesome click on save menu now now let's come back to our website refresh and let's see the changes okay so as you can see we have added this login and register but we cannot see that because we are logged in and we have added this my account and this my account has turned into something amazing like this and when when we hover over this we have live notification live messages log out and now we can also see this toggle button this hamburger button when you click on this we get this sidebar now first let's create the top menu as you can see we have this social icons already over here now we want to add something uh, over here like we have contact us page login logout and register i guess so again come back to your menu page and click on create a new menu now let's create the top menu so i'll name it top menu and click on create menu 
and from here select top menu only then it will show up over here if you don't select this it won't show up over here okay at the top now in top menu we want a custom link uh, so just in the url type in hash and in the link text type in contact us if you want to link uh, if you want any page to link over there you can add that page click on add new add to menu and we want uh, more pages uh, under Clio. You will see login, log out, register. Add all the three pages. I want the log out at the last. Okay, so again here, the login and register page will show only when the user has not logged in. Okay, now let's see first the demo website. Here, as you can see, this login and register has an icon. So we'll also put an icon for these two tabs so let's select login and uh, choose icon click on choose icon and let's select any one of the icons so for login okay let's see okay i want this one this lock icon okay and for register choose icon okay let's select the user one the user icons okay okay here it is user plus so i want this for register click on save menu go to this page oh, where it is here it is this is our website refresh Okay, so here we are getting login and register because we are not logged in register here We are also getting logged in and register because in this incognito window we are logged out and let's see how it looks when we are logged in so let's refresh We are logged in we are getting log out and different options over here. So this is working fine Now when we click on this hamburger icon or this toggle bar, we don't see anything. So let's add something over here as well so let's create a third menu and we will call it side menu click click on create a new menu and let's call it side menu click on create menu again and make sure you to select this side menu from here and whatever you want in the side menu you can put it so let's select body press i want everything to show fine so i'll select everything over here okay and uh, do we have this let me see by default do we have login okay so by default we don't have login logout uh, sorry register and login so i'll also add those as well okay, here login and register click on add to menu okay so everything is added over here click on save menu refresh the website now let's click on this icon and now we get all these options so we can also use this to go to different sections now almost all the important settings are done so let's do one thing let's see a demo of uh, let's create a demo website and see how the register registration work so let us click on register okay let me again show you one thing we missed one thing when we see the re registration page you can add some more fields or you can delete some fields from here so let's do that also go back to this dashboard and from the left hand side you'll see this user how are users and click on user fields the last option okay here you'll see uh, something is already added name primary required so this is for this one let me show you here you have name required so that is and we want to add a new field so click on add new field and you can name it anything for example date of birth or dob and here you can put in some uh, description you, you want please provide your date of birth type so we want a date selector okay so select date selector we have different types over here 
because we are asking for date of birth we need to provide a date selector now we can also select the type of date selector so i maybe default one is fine visibility everyone and if you select this enforce field visibility uh, the user uh, cannot change this visibility so i'll select the first one allow members to override so by default visibility is everyone but if the user wants he can hide this thing whether it is required or not uh, i don't think this is this should be required but if you want to make it required it's all up to you click on save come back again go to that page let's refresh okay so we are getting this thing so you can add more options over here so let's create uh, create a new account so username real layer email address real layer i think i cannot do so because my admin email address is also same so i'll select layers triple seven at gmail.com password find the name okay wow fine now date of birth i am 7th june 94 so where is 94 the golden year when i was born so 7 june 94 click on complete sign up okay you have successfully created your account to begin using this site you will need to activate your account via the email we have just sent to your address that sounds cool so let's open my email okay 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 oh, fine this is the one thanks for registering to complete the activation click on this link just click on this link okay your account is now active which is awesome so we uh, our account is active now let's do something do what log in first let's first log in because our account is active so the username was real layer the password was i guess this sign in login successful redirecting so i already have this uh, avatar because i have used this email address in different wordpress websites that's why now i want to make some changes so what i'll do is okay i'll maybe i i can do it different way for example i can click on my name and it will redirect me or i can click on this button i can click on profile there are many different ways of doing it okay fine so this is my username real layer and all this stuff 94 7 june naya shake i want to edit some information so i'll click on edit i maybe want to change the name why would i do so i don't know so i won't do that because i like my name i'll change the profile picture but so i'll go to change profile photo uh, i'll select uh, image i'll select these two handsome guys from here click on open and i'll crop this image okay these guys looks awesome okay so just click on crop image your new profile photo was uploaded successfully yeah, okay we can see this thing this is looking awesome okay but okay I, I am going to use this image in the group icon so what i'll do i'll change this image i would okay i'll click on upload select your image and let's select a very handsome guy okay so that our website looks awesome so let's okay let's select this one click on open okay let's see okay first we have to crop this handsome creature let's click on crop image fine so we have our image over here now let's do some more change let's change the cover image so click on this link and select your file go to let's okay let me select this image click on open it is getting uploaded very fast okay let's see let's see okay so the changes are taking place okay so this is looking awesome but now you didn't notice one thing or did you i don't know 
let me show you something so first look at this and let me show you the demo website okay here it is let me go to this username and this is how it looks so if you can notice or not i don't know there is a change here this section is very small and here this section is full width so if you remember while we are doing settings i said i won't do this thing now i'll show you later on so that you can understand why we are doing so so now we'll do those settings okay so we want to make this full width so again what we'll do we'll go to dashboard and we'll uh, scroll down under theme options under body press let's scroll down and uh, we should see okay enable full width header for profile and for group header yes we want to do that profile and group menu overlay i uh, don't want to do that and there's one more option if you see see we are using these icons at present if you want to use these icons uh, if you can see you can select this image uh, i'm just selecting the first one the default one and you can do some more settings over here these are some settings which are which are not very important just leave them click on save changes go back to your website let's refresh and see okay so this looks awesome okay so that's why i didn't do that setting because i wanted you guys to understand why we are doing that setting you can also minimize this just by clicking on clicking on this button okay so we have created a account we have changed the profile picture cover image and everything now let's see let's see what to do let's let's create a group go to group okay first we'll have to add a link for that okay there were no groups found so what i'll do i'll add a link for that so first go to your website dashboard go to bb press let's see whether some uh, settings are left okay yeah we want to enable mentions uh, so that is fine now if you go to this demo website if you uh, click on this create group you'll get some link at the top so we'll have to add this link so go to your website and hover appearances and click on menus i hope i'm not going very fast okay now under groups we want to add a custom link so go to custom links first add your domain name your domain url copy this paste it over here and after your domain name paste these things groups slash create slash step slash group dash details our group hyphen details okay so you can go to my demo website and copy this thing from there and paste it after your domain name and in the link text you can just type in create group click on add to menu bring this create group under groups and click on save menu again go to that site let's refresh okay now when you hover groups you get another option which says create group so let's click on that and let's create a new group fine so now we're getting more options group name okay so i'll name it many in black group description uh, i don't like typing so i'll just do some copy paste stuff uh, men in black i know you guys are realizing by this time i could have typed everything but i don't want to do that just paste in group description create group and continue now settings privacy options make this group public group private group so okay what happens when you make this a public group any site member can join this group you like we have those really annoying groups on facebook so this will become this annoying group uh, like we have on facebook this group will be listed in the groups directory and in the search results group content and activity will be visible to all to any site member what happens when we make it a private group only users who request membership are accepted and can join the group the group will be listed blah blah blue you can read everything guys i'm not going to read everything i'll just select this one 
private group and group invitation okay everyone can send group invitation so i'll select all group members say uh, click on next step forums yes i want to create this i want this group to have a forum very important very useful next step Okay, now we need to upload an avatar. So just select your file. Now this awesome guys will be there. Click on open. Just crop this image and we have this image over here. Now, next step. Okay, it is media album creation. Who can create album in this group or who can upload a media, some media in this group? all group members yes next step the cover image so select your file now let's select this one maybe or this one select any one of this let's click on open getting uploaded just wait okay fine now we can see this next step again okay well now it's it is asking you to invite so we don't have any friends right now that's why we cannot invite anyone but let's do some friendship over here let me add this guy so i'll open this guy in a new tab i'm pressing control on my keyboard now i'll click on this guy and it will open him in a new tab now i want to send him a friend request so i'll just click on add friend and i'll go over here in this website and i should get a friend request now let's see see when i hover this i get one live notification so you don't have to refresh the page to get a notification we have a friend request let's click on live notification okay so you have a friend request from naya shake that's awesome click on this okay i want to accept this poor guy okay now again come back over here let's refresh this page okay now you can see we are getting one okay fine we are getting one person okay i, I didn't want to do that okay here we have to refresh because i want to invite this person so i select this if you have more friends you select all of them and click on finish so they will get any invitation to the group so you have your profile picture or the group image a oh, background image group admin some text and this is the thing first let's see let's accept the invitation to this group come back over here let's hover again we have a live notification which is awesome now it says you have an invitation to the group men in black yes select that i'm losing my voice guys i'm speaking for last i think one and a half two hours now accept this men in black group in white accepted view men in black yes okay so this guy is the admin this handsome guy and we can post anything hello world okay boys hello world just post update okay load newest we have hello world we can comment we can add media so let's upload this image click on open this is getting uploaded uh, okay post update okay if you noticed that the image was uploaded but it did not uh, get posted automatically that is because of the beautiful setting which we did uh, in the rt media setting i guess so very important okay now let's see this in another tab okay let's refresh this page and this is a different user that is a different user okay so we have two activities over here we can comment hello bro post okay so we have commented that so doing all these childish things now we can see the member forums we can also invite someone now let me create a forum very important so go to forum and fine let's cre uh, create 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 if you want you can search for forum but we don't have any forum right now so first let's subscribe to this forum so whatever ha okay what am i subscribing to first of all 
we haven't created any form let's uh, click uh, or create a topic for example i love wordpress so i'll create a topic on wordpress and i'll say hello world okay the o is capital that is fine ask me anything regarding wordpress and topic tags i'll put a tag of wordpress okay i just by mistakenly uh press the enter key so i couldn't do more settings over here but i have successfully created a a, a new uh, post which says uh, wordpress when you click on forum you will see this over here like a new topic is created called wordpress now let's see how a different user will see this he will click on this forum and he can create a new forum and he can also visit this forum for example which is created by me 29 seconds ago let's click on this wordpress forum okay so this guy is saying hello world ask me anything regarding wordpress okay so let me ask him something okay I have a stupid question what is wordpress what the heck if you don't know what is wordpress why the hell did you come here and you know visit this wordpress forum stupid people go to members and we have two different members if i want i can cancel or or unfriend this guy i can invite someone but i don't have any friends lonely guy i don't have anyone to invite i can see the media i can manage or i can do some changes over here so basically this is what it looks like now let's click on this home and let's see the activities which is taking place and as i said you earlier that we can also let me show you let me show you my beautiful youtube page and i have so many quality contents over here really awesome stuff i, I hate this autoplay i don't know why people keep this autoplay thing here i really hate it now it just starts playing and that too 1 hour 44 minutes long video they have put it on autoplay this smart guys okay so i want to share this video my best video how to create an e-commerce website with wordpress so i'll just copy link come over here and i'll where is that gone over here i'll paste in this link and i'll add some text like this is the best video tutorial okay tutorial on wordpress e-commerce website just ignore those spellings fine now click on post update and you have this beautiful thing over here you can just click on this button and watch this complete video this video is awesome all my videos are awesome okay they are all beautiful okay all you guys from india you can also watch this thing website kaise banai hindi mein so many hindi mein sikhaya hai that is awesome okay you can watch that i really enjoyed that video i mean creating that video that was really fun okay so let's cut this thing okay so i think we have seen almost everything how to do what now if you see over here we also have this uh this bar over here when you hover this we have this icon you can edit my profile we can go to uh, activity we can see notifications and so on this is really helpful actually you know uh, i think this is really helpful but most of the people last time they asked me we don't want this thing we want to remove this so actually i have a very small two three minute video for that but uh, you don't have to watch that video i'll show you how to do this so go to your dashboard and uh, oh i think it is under yeah under theme options go to miscellaneous and uh, side why okay here it is admin toolbar just make this off click on save changes 
and go back to this website refresh and that thing is gone okay so if you don't want that you can remove that i found that very useful so i'll just make this thing on uh, you can obviously make it off it's all up to you and let's see what is left now okay now we have we can also create some post as i said you earlier so let's see how to create post go over here and see post is actually very useful see when you have a membership website like this or a social networking website like this wherein you have members so you can you know influence people by using post like if you if you're creating this social site for uh, purpose like wordpress if you want to promote wordpress then you can you know uh, create post regarding wordpress people can uh, read that if you're creating post for different purposes you can you know have a uh, right post and that people will be really interested because you have created the, this site for those kind of people and obviously when you write some really good post then they will be really happy to read those so how our post and click on add new and i'll be adding a new post i'll call it uh, i don't know yeah i don't know what i'll call it i'll just call it wordpress theme development this is not theme development but i'm learning theme development nowadays so i'll just put in wordpress theme development and put some dummy text over here so you can go to lipsim.com this is some lorem ipsum text dummy text very very useful click on generate lorem ipsum let's grab this portion copy paste it over here looks awesome standard format you can clear create a new category this is wordpress i love wordpress so i'm using wordpress everywhere you can put a tag like wordpress could be a tag and lorem ipsum could be a tag and uh, okay first block fine post layer you don't have to do anything with this just publish okay 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 we also have to give a featured image so go to featured image upload file let's select this one this time click on open set feature featured image you can see it over here click on publish okay okay fine now let's come back to our website uh, let me go to my user uh, to my profile okay now if you see over here uh, we will have articles okay you have two articles so you can anyone can read those articles also at the right hand side we have this recent post so here wordpress theme development is here you can also click it from here and you have this beautiful thing okay i just noticed that we have this ugly thing over here we don't want this okay this is really bad not at all seo friendly so we want to remove this basically this is the default format uh, your your url or your slug is like your domain name slash the date so today is 15th of november 2017 and so, so you have your date and then the title so we want to remove this date uh, some people like that and that is a good thing actually but i don't want that so what i'll do i'll go back to my dashboard and uh, how settings and click on reading not reading i'm sorry permalinks so how our settings and click on permalinks and here you have different so this app by default day and name is selected i want post name okay so uh, if you don't have this post name there could be many errors going on your website so i don't want that you can also select this custom structure and type in this percentage post name percentage slash so it's all up to you i'm selecting this thing which is already done post name click on save changes again come back over here refresh okay it will show page not found i guess yes page not found because this link is changed now let me delete this and refresh okay so now we can see this thing this is looking awesome so you can also influence people if uh, if you want to sell something you can 
write post on that you can provide link and they can buy and something like that you can just think of something good as a good idea that could really help you now i think one more thing is left i think the last and the most important thing and that is the chat box this is the chat icon you know i have this guy online uh, we are friends that's why it is showing or else it would not show uh, i just added this uh, as a friend so let's add this thing also so uh, here you'll see on your dashboard at the left hand side plugins how our plugins click on add new so basically your plugin is just a uh, plugin is something to you know extend your uh, functionality like a very good example is what we are doing now the uh, chat function is not there by default on wordpress it is not there by default on the clio theme so we are extending that functionality we are adding that functionality by using a plugin so there are thousands and thousands in fact there are millions of plugins uh, in the market so you can use any one and i'm using the best one i i call it it is ifly chat you just type in ifly chat wordpress chat this is the one by ifly chat team it has 5000 plus active installs and so on the rating is really good 4.5 91 people have rated rated this 4.5 click on install now click on activate okay okay fine so let's search for that it will be under appearances or under settings i guess yes it is under settings when you have settings you will see this iFly chat settings click on that okay okay fine we need an app id app key so you can grab this from iFlightChat.com. open this link in a new tab i'm really losing my voice i'm speaking for so long i need some break i guess i don't know let's sign up try it for free you can click on anywhere you want okay username i have already created a username nayesh a real nayesh so i'll create some different thing now okay wp nayer wordpress nayer okay any email address password is i want a password for this i'm not a robot so click on and create a new account the email address is already registered or the hell okay i'm so you know this it's really easy just put in all these things so i'm already registered so i'll click on login and i'll just click on login again so once you do so you'll see this page and you have your app id app key you just have to copy it from your app id paste it over here okay make sure there's no space basically when you copy most of the time you have some space left uh, because when you're copying some uh, like, let me show you a good example like uh, maybe this copy this paste it over here now if you see there is some space at, uh, over here so delete that space or else it won't work so just paste in the id and key and everything is fine just click on update and this should work click on app setting Okay, so we have to open uh, to do every, all the settings just open app dashboard in a new tab and let's cut this tab let's cut this lipsum fine now let's first see whether this thing is there on our website so let's refresh our website first okay so we are having this beautiful thing okay so we have this okay fine so we have this thing and you can also see some guest is there so we want to remove those guests and so on this service is available only for users register users not only register users 
Oh, in fact, for those people uh, specifically uh, who are my friends or who are your friends if you are the user. Okay, so chai, uh, chat list header. Here it says chat. As you can see, you can change this. Like uh, what we will... Okay, chat is good, but message sounds stupid because it is chat but let's see just to uh, show you that the changes do take place so now it says chat chat let's refresh and uh, it is getting loaded now it says message so you can do that and it is working fine position right hand side you can see it is at the right hand side horizontal percentage if you want to move it towards this the direction and so on you can put in that allow opening chat in a new tab yes we can allow that show app list uh, show recent chat session okay okay you can just go through everything smileys which smileys do you want to use apple google twitter smileys there are different smileys okay you can google them you will know the difference enable file attachment yes allow users to set color to their name in a room okay fine okay okay well, everything looks fine just click on save click go to theme okay uh theme basically will change the color of all this thing the ad uh, like it is blue uh so it will if you want to change this color this is blue color okay so i if you don't know this uh this crazy thing just paste this uh in google and you'll know the color okay so as when i pasted it is blue if you want red color for example just drag this at the last and copy this color paste it over here and chat top bar text color so top bar text color is white as you can see this message is in white color so we want white chat font color okay when we see the font color over here is black light black we can see so that is fine everything is fine just click on save and this color will change from blue to red let's refresh i don't recommend that but i'm just showing that you can change it come on yeah it's changed red and that too dangerous red okay so we are done with app we are done with theme we are now let's go to login okay site name for new window okay just put in your site name over there blah blah blue guest set name uh, allow guest users to set name no enable login with site no allow guest users no we don't want to allow guest users as i said you earlier we don't want guest users in our uh, chat box if you if they want to chat they will have to create an account they will have to make some friends and only then they can chat with them so click on save let's refresh okay fine so everything is fine now again go to content and 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 okay so don't filter these words are you know uh, you cannot use these words and these are some really ugly words oh my god what did i read okay fine so just just okay oh shit just ignore those words and if you want to add some more words so that you know whenever a person uses these words these swear words you know they will be blocked automatically okay so which is really good we don't want stupid people coming here and swearing here and there so we don't want that and render image and video allow users to delete messages yes we want to allow them allow users to cl clear their conversation yes uh, for example i would recommend you uh, my hindi brothers my brothers from india to add all those bad words in hindi okay so that okay when whenever they use anything like that they will be blocked this is all english words don't read don't read this guys please click on save fine let's move this let's just move as fast as possible okay do we have some more user moderation let's see some more settings online users you can also see online users for example i am online over here i can ban myself i would never do that but i can do so 
guest user if you want to kick this person ban this person ban the ip address you can do so chat archives room settings let's go to settings okay i have app okay there was one setting which i am looking for okay let me search for that everything here is fine let i think it is over here go to plugin settings uh, uh, okay okay show only friends in online user list yes this is the one which i was looking for so only my friends will be shown uh, in this list and i can only chat with them uh, this is really important i don't want uh, i don't want to allow anyone creating an account and chatting with anyone just refresh this website okay Okay, as you can see, we had a user earlier, but that user is gone because I, I just don't want to allow anyone to chat with everyone. Okay, so I have only myself over here. Now you shake. Uh, okay, myself over here and the other account which we, which I just created. Fine, so just delete this thing. Everything is fine. I think uh, we have completed the website and I hope I'm not missing anything this time. Because always whenever I create website, people say, man, you miss this thing, you miss that thing. So I, if I have missed anything, I apologize, guys. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below if you want to uh, learn something more regarding this. So that I can create some small videos and I can teach you those things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I put a lot of efforts in making these kind of videos. Uh, I'm recording at 4 a.m. and I'm, I started at 1.30 a.m. So I do a lot of efforts. I do a lot of research and so on so i hope you guys will appreciate that if you if you guys are really gracious enough then you can donate something i'll give you the do, paypal link in the video description below so that you know that helps me uh at the end i would again say if you guys like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos because i make really awesome stuff okay so that is really worth it and also give a thumbs up to this video have any doubt any queries any suggestions for me please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.